Hello Multiverse, welcome to Omniverse Gamers, my name is Damian Berzayo. Today's video is going to dissect another dynamic encounter. We're going to call this one Chameleon Armadillo Assassins. Now this is an example of an encounter where I don't even attack the party at all. I just have a mission, I'm trying to kill a certain person. I don't know where I have to, it's, I basically surprise them and they have to defend this person because they really need this person alive. So this is from Pirates of the Ash and Sea. There's these five tribes on this island and they've been trying to get them all to work together against the owl bears. Well, they were owls that could turn into owl bears and they're like their major enemy and they found out that the owls have slaughtered the bears and that's why they can transform into owl bears, sort of. And then they found these armadillo people, which you may have seen some encounters based on the armadillo people. And then they found these tabaxi people they've kind of made contact with and they kind of and they also found these chameleon groups who was not so nice so they, the armadillos they friend befriended the tabaxi they befriended and they've kind of got them they're both victims of the owl bears and they don't the chameleons have been kind of hidden this whole time they don't really believe the chameleons exist but we've since proved that they do so this is them coming back to the armadillo land after a they, the tabaxi leader agreed to be to a meeting for a treaty you know they want the armadillos and the tabaxi to help them try to get to the temple in the center of this island that's what they've been trying to do for a while now if you see any of the other encounters based on that you'll see that they've been trying to get to this temple because they need the, they need permission to get to the temple from one of the tribes and now they have permission from two tribes but the owl bears the owls are occupying the temple so nobody else can get there and they've kind of defended the whole area around it so down, down the road they're going to have this big assault on this temple and, and they're going to get inside and do various things for the quest anyway today what they're trying to do is come back to the armadillos and verify that the chameleons do actually exist and that not only do they exist they can take the shape of anybody they've seen so it's kind of like the changelings in uh, deep space nine star trek deep space nine they, they they could be anywhere they could be anybody but also there's a couple ways you can you can detect them moonbeam or something like that you can maybe make them change their form spell magic does not work they're not using anything magical they're using their innate abilities to change form so the only way to really detect them if you cut them and they bleed they're they have green blood where they're, all the other mammals have red blood so if you cut them and separate them from their blood and then you'll know that's a chameleon but then you've got to actually have them bleed for that so they're coming back here after they're kind of the heroes of this try they've saved them a couple times you may have seen uh, oasis defense or uh, temple defense armadillo temple defense or it would be uh owl bear temple defense because they were defending it against owls so they've been to this temple before they've been to this land before it's kind of like where the, where the homeland of the armadillos live they live in this little like underground pyramid where they hide and they have their water they keep their water down there so that the owls can't come swoop the owls just come down and swoop them out of the desert and bring them you may have seen touching the river battle where you know where they bring their they, they feed them to this big creature that they've already killed anyway so they're coming back to meet with the armadillo matriarch and war chief to kind of like be like yeah the, we met the tabaxi they want to they want to meet and they want to have a they want to have a treaty we want to try to beat these owl bears before it's too late because the armadillos are down to like 40 guys there's only like 40 warriors and they have a bunch of you know women and children and, and you know non-fighters that are surviving but pretty much other than that they're pretty much decimated and they have no they, they're like they're ready to think they, they want to fight with the while they still have warriors they're ready to, to do this assault so the party comes back and the, now this map is a map by mishka maps you may have seen this before uh, i'm going to switch over to my this is this is where i usually switch over to split screen but i'm going to try a new format today so we'll see how this goes i'm going to try to put myself on top of the map this is the other one let me know in the, in, in the comments if you like this format or the old format i'm just going to give it a shot i got some trying a new lighting thing here today too i'm bouncing lights and it's just it's kind of an experimental day today anyway so here we here we go on this map we've had this seen this map before these are statues there's a little pyramid here and i've, I've used it i i in my descriptions i said these statues were armadillo statues to the, the armadillo tribe um so they come they see the matriarch and the, and the, and the war chief that they, they they're friends with them they know them they recognize them but they're also weary because they have no idea where the the, the uh the chameleons could be anybody so they're like Ugh, you know so they talk to these armadillos and now they ask, they kind of you know make their make their treaty make their make make their treaty make their case and the armadillos are very open to everything that they have to say and they're like oh yeah because they they pretty much saved their their whole they have they've saved their whole like civilization basically the, the party has so the party's like well we need everyone to bleed right now we have to cut everybody to make sure no one hears a chameleon and they're they don't even hesitate the armadillos are like yeah sure whatever wherever if, if that's what needs to happen you know, they don't even believe the chameleons exist well, they don't. They didn't know if the chameleons existed. They they, they heard rumors and stuff. But they never actually had seen a chameleon. Since then, the party's gone on all these different excursions all around the island. They have found the chameleons. They know they don't like them. They thought the owl bears were the big bads on this island. Now they're finding out the chameleons possibly are the ones orchestrating the whole thing, and they're like the ones in, that that have been manipulating all all five of the tribes, and are uh, are kind of like in the in the underground of all the politics of, of all the island. You know, they're in. They have their own little thing going on because they've tried to be like well why are you we're trying to save you chameleons why are you trying to fight us and they're like no nah, you're good we don't like what you're doing you know we don't want you to save us 
and the party doesn't know why, but obviously the convenience have their own thing going on. So they're here, and they, you know, the armadillos like, and they're like, is everybody here? Is there, you know, we gotta make sure we're all coming. It's like, well, well, there was a scout group, and they haven't returned, and they know the, the head scout. They know this man because it's armadillo man, because they've saved him. He got pulled away by an owl bear up into the sky, and they had shot him down, and he fell, and they kind of had a fight. They had a battle with him, and they've saved this guy's life. And they've, he's, he's gone to the desert with them. They've gone on a couple little side missions with the scout guy, so they know him. And they're like, oh, that's 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 not cool that this scout group is late. Where'd they go? And they like, go, oh, they went to the temple area to see. We do our, like, you know, our sweep for defense just to make sure no one's cr- encroaching our territories. We know when to hide and stuff. So they never came back. They obviously the party's alert to that. And like, oh, well, maybe we should go check them out and see if they're safe. And, what, you know, we, we have to get to the temple anyway, so they kind of scout the area. Before they can do that, the four scouts come back. They see them coming along the, you know, yeah, along the north area. You'll see them coming back. And they immediately go right over to them, and the, the tabaxi rogue is like, hey, you know, I forget his name. It's like, hey, you know, how's it going, you know? And the guy's like, kind of looks at him weird. Now, the chameleon, they know these people. They've seen, they went and found the chameleons. The chameleons can turn into these people. because they, Anybody they've seen, they can turn into. So they know who the party is now. They're aware of the party. They've been, they've been watching everything this whole time, and they're, they're not ignorant to what's going on. So the scout guy's like, oh, hello. And, you know, he didn't know his name, but he knew he recognized him. So he was just kind of being friendly. Or the, the war chief comes over, and he's like, what's your report? Why are you so late? And they were they gave him some vague excuse. The party was like, well, we need them to bleed now to make sure that these aren't chameleons. And, the, you know, the matriarch agreed, and the, and the war chief agreed. The war chief's like, we need you to, to cut yourselves and, and bleed. And they're like, what do you mean? What do you mean? We don't want to bleed. We don't want to cut ourselves. And, like, the party, like, cut themselves. It's just like, this is what we know. We need, to, we need to see your blood to know that you're safe. Before anything can even, they obviously, I mean, this is a trap. And, you know, we're making an encounter. So the, these all four of these are chameleons. They've taken the place of these scouts. The, the scouts are, you know, that's another, that's another encounter we'll do next time. Before they can even argue, the chameleons start changing form. They One of them changes into the form of a rain and one of them changes the form into the fighter and they just rush right at the matriarch and right at the war chief they just come right at them just to, just to murder them because the whole point they don't want the treaty chameleons don't want the treaty to happen so they're going to come and murder they're going to change their form into the party even though the chameleons even though the armadillos that are present see this happening it's still in the chameleons mind they can take the form of the party murder the matriarch it'll it'll really hinder the the treaty is going on. Even if it doesn't hinder the treaty, you just killed the matriarch and their war chief and the armadillos are already in disarray, so now they're going to be even hurt even more. So, the chameleons start changing form and just rush right at the, I don't. I don't attack the party at all. I come right at the matriarch, right at the war chief, and I just start kind of start murdering them, just trying to murder them. And I come pretty close and the party's like, oh my god, and they start fighting them and the armadillos all around, they don't really know what to do. They're just like kind of frozen because they don't know who's who, who to attack, and they, they don't want to hurt their heroes, but they also like what the hell they've never seen the chameleons they don't know this ability they kind of like you know the, the party explained it to the matriarch and the war chief and some of them overheard but the mass of them like they're kind of really confused they're just kind of like whoa what's going on and the party just comes and they just start i mean they just force attack and then thankfully they have their druid with them who casts moonbeam and the moonbeam goes right down hits them forces them into their natural form which they have not seen the natural form of the chameleons yet, so this moonbeam forces them into their natural lizard-like form, like you know, reptilian. Basically, I basically just use a lizard man as the picture here, but uh, they're kind of like you know, they're just chameleon. They're just a reptile humanoid creature, basically generic, you know. Um, and now the gig's up, and they kill all of them but one. And that last one, he's like, he's trying to get away. He's like, I gotta get out of here. This is obviously I gotta tell my people that these people know what's going on. So he tries to escape. But they just they force attack him and they they get him they 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 don't kill him they they take him out uh, non lethally they put the moonbeam on him and then they tie him up and they keep the moonbeam on him they they heal him they have this thing where they put healing spirit on him and then they put the moonbeam on him so the healing spirit's healing him and the moonbeam's hurting him and they, it's kind of a balance and so he's losing but then they have they have other healing and stuff they're trying to keep him alive and uncomfortable so they can interrogate him and they're trying to interrogate him to get more information. He doesn't really give them very much, but he does tell them that the scout group is still alive and like they're they're gonna die soon. If you do, you're not you're not gonna have you're not gonna get to them in time. They're gonna die anyway, so you can go to hell, you know. And they end up murdering him before he can spew, spew lies and stuff. But then they kind of alert that oh, the scout group's still alive somewhere. We maybe should go, maybe go save them. And that gives them another quest for the same session that we had two encounters. The next encounter was them going to find the scout group. But anyway, this was just a really simple, as you can see, I just sprung a surprise on the group. I did not attack them at all. I came in disguise. They kind of suspected, but they didn't know. Once the chameleon started changing forms, they were like, oh crap, they were fighting each other. And it was very confusing. And they got, I gave them some disadvantages and stuff like that. As, they, as, the, as the people moved around in the combat, they were like, well, which one's which? And, you know, they're kind of shouting to each other, but the chameleons could mimic it. So just a really quick little battle. 
But the point of it was I wasn't attacking them. I was attacking this person. And if I would have succeeded, I, this was just totally organic. I was just rolling dice. If I had killed that person, that would, it would have been that would have been the result. But because the party was alert and they they worked together well, they they, they managed to stop the assassination basically. And now the armadillos know, oh my god, these Corvidians are horrible. They're trying to assassinate us. But yeah, that was basically a simple encounter where I did not attack the party at all. It was fun. It was very. It was all it had to do with the the expedition stuff going. It had to do with the campaign. It was it was in theme, and it furthered the story because now they have another scout group to go get, and as they go do that, more stuff's gonna be revealed. And now the armadillos are even more on their side because they're like, oh my god, now we have to, you know, we really are. If we wasn't for you guys, we would be dead. We would be all be slaughtered, you know. Well, I hope that was interesting. That was just another qu really quick encounter that you can do. That like I said, that doesn't attack the party. There's ways to challenge your party without actually just having to fight everything every time. So it wasn't even a kill mission. It was there. The, my guys were trying to kill something. They had to defend, and they had to defend whatever way they thought. And they ended up tying up the guy. I was hoping they were going to kill them all. And they weren't going to get any information, but they they were good. And the fact that they got information just further the quest and further the story. Always be prepared to give exposition from your monsters and then you're just all your all your encounters are meaningful this is another example of that so uh, yeah we are omniverse gamers like subscribe all that jazz let me know what you think of the new format we'll see how it goes i'm gonna edit this and you know we'll see what happens but i uh, hope to see you soon and keep on gaming